In Hillsborough County, Lieutenant Boudreaux and Officer Hannett call the complainant in their first turkey hunting case of the season. Hello. Hi, this is Eric Hannett calling from New Hampshire Fishing Game. What's going on? What happened? Um, so at about 6.30 this morning, um, there was this deep Cherokee park, and he was taking a large tom off the property. OK. Was, was he by himself? No, he had somebody with him. OK. Uh, and I said, this field is posted for no hunting. And he goes, the field itself is not posted. It's only the woods back there. And he goes, fishing game was just here. I go, really? I said, I want you to know I'm still taking your license plate and I'm going to report you to fishing game. We're going to look into this and hopefully we can we can get it figured out. OK. All right. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, it sounds, sounds like it's well posted. Yeah, it's clearly fishing game wasn't there. My plan when we get to the kill site is to have Ruby get out and do an area search. She's trained to find shell casings and anything with gunpowder on it. That's going to be our best bet right now because we don't have a great idea of where the hunter actually was. It is dark. There's rain coming. We better hurry up and get up there. Looks like thunderstorms. Rain is one of those things that it will wash away evidence that you have and that, you know, footprints, tracks, blood. It'll wash away all that stuff. Oh, man, that is dark. That is ominous. Here comes the rain. Come on, guy. We can outrun it. It's not raining hard enough or long enough that it's going to wash all the scent away, so I don't think she'll have any problems finding it. A little bit of rain actually is a good thing. Moisture helps trap the scent. And it looks sunny up ahead of us. Yeah. Last tree on the fire equipment. Here we go. This is it. There's, there's the tracks right there. Come on. Kid me. As soon as we get here, downpour. We'll wait it out. Oh, man. Everything is being washed away right now. Oh, this is not good. Not good at all. All right, you ready? Yeah, I guess. It's slowing down. It was. Let's go. Rain is definitely discouraging, um, and the timing is just, it couldn't be worse. Definitely washing away evidence. Okay. All right, ready to go to work? Come on. Come on. Let's go to work. Search. When we first pulled up here, you can't see them now, but there was a set of tracks coming right in here. And you can see where someone pulled right out here, so I'm thinking maybe they shot from here. Back to work. Come on. Heavy rain like that can wash the scent away from the wad or the shotgun shell, so hopefully there's still some scent left for her to find. He could have been anywhere in this field. Eric's walking the road right now, just in case they did shoot from the road. But uh, we gotta find where where the bird was shot first, and then we'll then we'll figure out if they were on posted property or not. I'm looking for a shell, maybe, or some feathers, or some blood, or some anything. The field's posted all on the back side. Back to work. We train rain, snow, sun, whatever. We train in all weather, so she's ready to go in all weather. But uh, that was enough rain to wash away quite a bit of scent. I still think there should be enough left to, to find something if it's out here. But Oh. Good girl, Ro. Good girl. The shell? Yeah. It's kind of weird. I wasn't expecting to find a shell there in the middle of the field. So either the guy did shoot from the middle of the field, like he was chasing some turkeys down, or he ejected it on his way to uh, go pick up the bird. So Ruby found the shell. Um, we'd like to find some feathers, which would indicate the, the, the bird was standing when it was shot and potentially the wad, which would indicate the direction that they shot toward. When a shotgun shell is fired, all the pellets are encased in a plastic wad. That wad falls away as it's traveling through the air. It typically goes out about 30 to 40 yards. It's something that a hunter isn't going to find or pick up.
Oh, there it is. Good girl. Good girl. Hey, I found a wad, too. <laughs> you did? Yep. They throw me the ball. Good boy. Good boy. So he shot twice. Sense why the shell's there. The shell is there, because he shot twice. So maybe hit it once um, and wounded it. And then they ch continued to chase it and then shot again. No, here we go. Good girl, Robe. Good girl. So here's the turkey feathers. Turkey feathers? Yeah. Well, based on the feathers, the two wads, and the one shell, it looks like this bird was not shot from the road. I think they drove by, saw birds in the field. They parked over where we're parked. There's a hill there where they could stay hidden, snuck up the hill, and started shooting at the birds as they were probably running away. Now the question is, is, is it shot on posted property, and did they have permission if it was posted property? Posted signs are basically in the wood line. So the question that we kind of have right away is, is it posted in the field? And according to the, the complainant, he had said that she knew the family of the, the, the people that own the field, and they didn't want people hunting in the field. So now we're going to try and find the landowner, uh, speak with them, and get information from them on if that field is posted, or did they only mean to post the woods around the field? The officers learned that the posted woods in the adjoining field belonged to separate landowners. After several calls, they finally tracked down the owner of the field. Hello. Hello, Vince. Yes. Hey, this is Eric Cannon calling from the Hampshire Fishing Game. OK, what can I go find? So I'm calling about that field over on uh, River Road. All around that field is posted. And I understand that uh, your boss doesn't own the property beyond the field, but the, the field itself. What is his feeling about people hunting in that in that piece of property? Uh, traditionally, we have not posted any of our operations in New Hampshire. OK. We're all uh, outdoors people, and uh, we allow uh, people to hunt and fish on the properties that are close to the river. OK. I just want to make sure uh, that was the case, so. It appears everything with this kill was legal. Uh, they were off the road. The property is not posted. The owner allows hunting. It was definitely worth looking into based on the suspect's fishing game violation history. We need the people out there looking out for these uh, fishing game rules and making sure people ain't, are not violating these rules. So if you see something, please make that phone call. Because it might be nothing, but it might be something very important.